system performance and optimization, a topic that may initially sound intricate, but in reality, it forms the backbone of our daily digital interactions. In the intricate world of computer science, system optimization stands as the holy grail. It is the relentless pursuit to extract every ounce of efficiency out of our machines, to ensure they operate smoothly, promptly, and effectively. System optimization carries significant importance in computer science. Every we use, every website we visit, and every digital transaction we make are all underpinned by this concept. Without system optimization, our digital lives would be sluggish, with every interaction painstakingly slow and inadequate. Our journey today will navigate through the complex labyrinth of performance bottlenecks. These are the hurdles that hinder the smooth operation of our digital systems. Understanding these bottlenecks is crucial, as it allows us to identify where systems can falter and where improvements can be, but understanding is only half the battle. That's why we shall also venture into the various strategies for optimizing system performance. These are the methods that allow us to increase speed, improve efficiency, and enhance the overall user experience. These strategies provide us with the tools to turn a sluggish system into a swift and effective one. Together, we will delve deep into the world of system optimization, shedding light on its importance and the ways to achieve it. Let's first delve into CPU utilization, the system's brain, and how to manage it when it's overworked, leading to a slowdown. To begin with, we can address this by identifying resource-intensive processes. This requires getting into the minutiae of your system's operations and monitoring tools that provide real-time data. With these tools, you'll get a detailed view of which applications or processes are hogging your CPU power. This not only helps you to accurately pinpoint the culprits behind the slowdown, but also enables you to take targeted action to alleviate the resource strain. Moving on, let's explore the immense potential of multi-threading. In layman's terms, it means that your CPU can juggle multiple tasks simultaneously, significantly boosting the overall efficiency of your system. But it is important to remember that while multi-threading is a compelling solution, it is not a magical panacea. If not managed correctly, it can result in thread contention, where multiple threads compete for the same resources or increase complexity in your code due to the need to coordinate and manage these threads effectively. Lastly, it's essential to acknowledge the role that a hardware upgrade can play in improving your system's performance. It may not be the first choice, but can become a necessity if your current hardware can't cope with the demands. An upgrade decision should be a well thought out process, considering factors such as cost, compatibility with your existing system, and the potential performance improvement the new hardware can offer. Weigh these factors against your current needs and financial capacity. An upgrade need not be a drastic step. Sometimes a simple addition or replacement could be all that's needed to enhance your computing experience. In the end, know that the decision should be driven by your unique needs and budget rather than chasing the latest tech trend in the market. Moving forward, we explore the complex world of memory usage. Overconsumption in this realm is a notorious culprit behind system crashes and sluggish performance. When a system overuses its memory resources, it becomes overloaded and begins to falter, resulting in crashes. Additionally, it can drastically slow down the system's performance, making your tasks feel like they're moving in slow motion. The solution to this issue is multifaceted and involves optimizing memory allocation, which is a critical aspect of maintaining system performance. By efficiently managing how memory is assigned to various tasks, we prevent the overconsumption that leads to crashes and slow performance. This is where implementing caching mechanisms comes into play. Caching is a technique that stores frequently accessed data in a cache or a high-speed storage layer so it can be retrieved quickly. This reduces the burden on the system's memory, enhancing its performance and stability. And in cases where the system's innate resources are insufficient, upgrading the RAM presents a viable solution. RAM, or random access memory, is a crucial component of any system. It's where all the action happens, data being currently processed and instructions being executed. By increasing its capacity, we give the system more room to breathe and perform, thus reducing the likelihood of crashes and increasing the speed of data processing and task execution. Disk I.O. operations play a pivotal role in system performance, 
slow reading and writing operations can significantly hamper system performance. Among the multiple strategies that can be adopted, the first one is optimizing disk space. This involves regular cleanup of unnecessary files, uninstallation of unused applications, and efficient organization of data to ensure the disk is not cluttered. Then there's defragmenting drives. Over time, files can be scattered across your hard drive in bits and pieces, slowing your computer down significantly. Defragmenting is like a spring clean for your computer. It organizes your data and allows your system to locate information more efficiently, thereby boosting performance. Lastly, considering solid state drives for a speed boost is another viable solution. Unlike traditional hard drives that use spinning disks, solid state drives store data on flash memory chips and have no moving parts. Hence, they're faster, more durable, and use less energy. Implementing a solid state drive could result in a dramatic increase in the speed at which your computer performs tasks. Let's delve further into task scheduling. When we speak of inefficient scheduling, it implies a system where tasks are not organized optimally, leading to a host of problems. These dilemmas mainly include resource conflicts and delays. Resource conflicts arise when two or more tasks require the same resources concurrently, but due to poor scheduling, the resources cannot be efficiently allocated. Similarly, delays occur when chores are not sequenced or timed correctly, causing unnecessary holdups in the process. The remedy to these issues lies in an array of strategies. First off, there is priority scheduling, which is a technique where tasks are assigned a priority level. High priority tasks get completed first, thus ensuring that urgent tasks are not left hanging. Next up, efficient scheduling algorithms come into play. These algorithms are mathematical models that help in optimal task allocation according to a variety of factors such as task duration and resources needed and interdependence between tasks. Lastly, continuous fine tuning of process priorities is a must. It's about constantly reviewing and adjusting task priorities as per changing conditions and requirements. This trio of strategies, when applied correctly, can greatly enhance the efficacy of task scheduling, eliminating conflicts and delays. Graphics performance, the powerhouse of our visual experience, occasionally becomes a bottleneck. One of the major ways to optimize it is through updating graphics drivers. This is essentially the software that allows your operating system and programs to use your computer's graphics hardware. Regular updates can offer increased performance, fix bugs, and provide new features. Next, adjusting program settings can drastically improve performance. This may involve tweaking the graphic settings in your favorite games for optimal performance based on your hardware. You can also adjust settings in your graphic card's control panel, often providing global changes that affect all games and software. Lastly, considering GPU upgrades is another impactful solution. The Graphics Processing Unit, or GPU, is the heart of your computer's graphical capabilities. Upgrading your GPU can lead to substantial improvements in rendering images and videos, especially for gamers and creative professionals. However, it's crucial to consider the compatibility of the new GPU with your system before an upgrade. In summary, through updating graphics drivers, tuning your program settings, and potentially upgrading your GPU, you can significantly optimize the graphical performance of your system. Let's delve deeper into system updates and patches. You may not realize it, but outdated software can be a silent performance killer. Think of it as an engine gradually covered in rust. Over time, the software becomes slower, susceptible to crashes, and it may fail to keep up with more advanced, newer programs. In essence, outdated software can hinder the optimal performance of your system, causing a decrease in productivity and efficiency. It may quietly eat into your system's resources, slowing down processes and sometimes causing your system to freeze. But there's a simple solution to this, regular updates. Regularly updating the operating system and applications is like sending your car for a regular tune-up. It fine-tunes the software, addresses known bugs and issues and enhances the overall performance and security. This step is critical because it not only improves the speed and efficiency of your system, but also ensures that you are up to date with the latest features and tools. Security patches are another key aspect to consider. Developers constantly find and fix security vulnerabilities in software. If these patches are not applied promptly, you're leaving the door wide open for malware and hackers, which can lead to data breaches or total system failure. Lastly, let's not forget proactive system maintenance. 
This is akin to keeping your house clean, regularly clearing caches, deleting unnecessary files and programs, and optimizing settings can substantially boost system performance. It's like cleaning out your closets. Doing so makes room for new files and helps the system run smoother. In conclusion, keeping your system updated and well-maintained is crucial for optimal performance and security. It's like the difference between a well-oiled machine and a rusty, neglected one. The choice is yours. Let's delve deeper into the world of resource management techniques. We'll start with task scheduling techniques, such as round-robin, priority scheduling, and multi-level queue scheduling. Round-robin involves rotation of tasks, each task a slice of CPU time in a circular fashion. It is notable for its fairness, but can suffer from high turnaround times. Priority scheduling, on the other hand, assigns priority levels to tasks with the highest priority tasks processed first. It's excellent for prioritization, but it can lead to a problem known as starvation, where low priority tasks could potentially never get executed. Multi-level queue scheduling categorizes tasks into different groups or queues based on their nature. This technique enhances task type separation, but requires a complex setup. Now, let's consider memory management techniques such as paging, segmentation, and memory. Paging breaks the memory into equal size blocks known as pages, allowing efficient memory allocation. It does, however, have potential for internal fragmentation, where some portions of the page may go unused. Segmentation divides memory into variable size segments based on logical divisions like code, data, and stack. It reduces fragmentation, but introduces complexity in management. Virtual memory, on the other hand, is a technique that emulates more memory than physically exists by using a portion of hard disk space as an extension of the main memory. The trade-off here involves the use of disk space and the speed of memory access. Lastly, we'll touch on I.O. scheduling techniques like FCFS or first come first serve, shortest seek time first, and deadline scheduling. FCFS operates on a first come, first serve basis, simple to implement but can cause longer jobs to wait unnecessarily. Shortest seek time. First chooses the task with the minimum seek time, reducing disk head movements, but could lead to starvation for tasks with longer seek times. Finally, deadline scheduling prioritizes tasks with the nearest deadline, which is beneficial for time-critical tasks, but relies heavily on accurate deadline prediction. In conclusion, the journey to mastering system performance and optimization is a continuous one. It involves a precise choreography of regular updates, proactive maintenance, and thoughtful resource management. Regular updates are pivotal, as they not only provide latest features, but also patch any security vulnerabilities, keeping the system safe and up-to-date. Proactive maintenance, on the other hand, is all about foreseeing and mitigating potential issues before they grow into critical system problems. It comprises tasks such as regular data backups, system health checks, and software audits. Thoughtful resource management is just as crucial. It's about ensuring every byte of memory, every drop of power, and every processor cycle is put to the best possible use. The is to maximize efficiency and avoid wastage. Together, these elements operate in harmony, creating a secure and reliable computing environment. Remember, every bit of efficiency matters. Each optimized process, each update installed, every maintenance task performed, and every resource thoughtfully managed cumulatively adds up to a system that works seamlessly. The end result is a digital experience that is simply unparalleled.